Culture for only eating, but we should have agriculture for also uh, supporting us and our families. That is what is very important now. The, the president has been sworn in. Let's put every politics aside and go for agriculture. That is very important. Do, do, do we hope that it's not just going to be a slogan hearing this time, but um, real work and that um, will mean business and, and do things that um, the, the, the president has just talked about here? This is going to be serious and I'm sure, believing that if I stay in that docket, we are going to make things move and change. We want to see people use agriculture not only for eating, but also for commercial purposes. Okay. Uh, that will change our country. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Honorable Badoa.
Thank you so much. Honorable Helena Doa is our state minister for agriculture and fisheries. And of course, um, you heard the president here talk about agriculture as one of those. Now, to just let you know that um, some of the visiting presidents here, of course, we have the president of uh, Ethiopia. Uh, not so many people know the president of Ethiopia. Uh, the president of Ethiopia is a woman, and uh, she is actually the first to uh, hold that portfolio as uh, the president in there. Uh, she was uh, voted into office as president of uh, Ethiopia in uh, 2018, and uh, she um, is been there. She is um, one of the most very powerful women in the world, according to uh, the Forbes uh, magazine. Uh, she's also uh, been here visited. Uh, you heard the president talk about President uh, Nana Akufo Dankwa Ado of uh, the NPP in uh, Zam in uh, Ghana. Now, President Nana Akufo Ado um, has never come to Uganda. It was, it is his uh, very first time uh, to uh, visit and come here in uh, Uganda. All of them are very welcome and just loved uh, the environment in here as we continue uh, to uh, be part of uh, the celebrations here. His Excellency the President made a very moving speech um, which we all had uh, very audibly and uh, we only pray and, and, and um, want to give him support that um, everything as he says it there uh, should uh, be uh, to the glory of uh, Uganda, the region and of course um, Africa, especially to uh, we who think uh, Pan-Africanism and of course all the things. Let me also have the opportunity to talk to uh, the Secretary General of uh, the National Resistance Movement, Honorable uh, Justice Kasule uh, Lumumba here with us. Honorable Justice Kasule Lumumba, you're, you're, you're Justin Kasule Lumumba, you're finally here. Um, we knew in Titeja Kulaida, oh, we had said in Titeja Kulaida, now that Amazon Kulaida uh, promises 2021 2026. Like you've heard from him in the strong language, the issue is fighting poverty, making sure and endeavoring all Ugandans together with their leaders, work together to enter the money economy. We worked hard the term that has ended, and we didn't succeed because Ugandans are, we were able to get to $900. Now we want to enter into the middle income and get $1,200. So it is the responsibility of all of us, and that's why we have decided to take it to the lowest level, which is the parish level, so that service delivery is at that level to make sure that we can account for all households in terms of their land holding, but also what are they producing and is it economical? Does it solve the issue of make, giving them income enough to take care of themselves but also have savings? So it is our responsibility to make sure we fight corruption stealing of drugs, taking advantage of the technology that we have, and also investing in the different sectors, agriculture, industrialization. We must have zonal, uh, zonal industrial parks, but also encourage the private sector. Instead of importing, government should protect certain industries so that people put money together. When government has done a, a visibility study, to guide them on what to invest and how much to invest so that we don't have to import if our people can locally put resources together to be able to invest in a particular sector. But also be able to invest in the, in the services sector. Services sector is so wide. That is tourism, that's the border border, that is the, 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 the marketing online, all of those. And also your service is also under the services sector. But also be able to tap into the ICT. The ICT should help us more in the service sector and the service delivery.